Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and we're here today to talk about table training. So the idea with um, especially poodles, but lots of other breeds is to have them be on the grooming table without using a grooming noose to keep them there. Now, obviously you're only doing this with your own dog and you're doing it with safety involved at all times. Personally, for me, even if I do have a completely table trained um, toy dog that uh, could very easily break a leg if they fell or jumped off the table, I still keep them secured in the grooming noose, but I use it just for safety and not like to control them. But a few tips about tra table training. So my number one tip is a lot of people say, oh, my dog doesn't like to lay on the table for a long time, but they are actually laying their dog on the actual grooming table. Now, grooming tables are fantastic, right? They're non-slip, but so that means that they have this kind of rough, gritty surface and it doesn't feel fantastic. So just like imagine basically you laying on your driveway, not very comfortable, but you put like a yoga mat or a nice thick, um, this is actually a comfort mat for your dog and then a nice thick clean bath towel just like laying on the beach it becomes that much more comfortable and you want to lay there for a longer period of time and quite honestly like that's kind of my number one tip around table training um because i run into so many people who they are trying to get their dogs to lay down and be comfortable on this kind of table. Especially when you think about it, if you're trying to table train a short coated dog or a poodle that has all those tender areas, their, their knees, their elbows, etc., shaved. So you're basically putting like skin onto that rough surface. Um, as well, I use it as kind of a training method. So when I am trimming my dogs and expecting them to stand up, I don't have anything comfortable on the table, but as soon as they are allowed to sit down or lay down, I'll put a yoga mat and or a towel or like even what people refer to as a crepe pad. So not necessarily a blanket, but like, you know, a thin pad for them to lay on. And this is what is very helpful in this process. So when I'm starting my puppies, obviously I'm going to start them um on this nice comfy surface like you can tell he already just wants to sit down and lay down and again he needs to learn independence right like there is um and it's look he's trying to ooh, he's trying to lay down already so we're just going to lower this arm and just like let him lay down and just kind of like explore the fact um that there is an edge so i want to encourage him to like be on this table um, you could feed them, give them a small snack on the table, but you just want to encourage them to be comfortable. So another tip around table training is don't take your young dog or puppy of any age, like out for a pee, wake it up and then table train it to start your table training. Like at the end by table training, I mean like this free for all kind of they, you want them to rest and relax on the table, not the stand to be trimmed table training. Um, when they're tired, right? Like when you're going to be more successful. So he already kind of wants to sit down and lay down, but I'm letting him explore the fact that there are edges to the table. Like, well, I'm right here with them. And, you know, eventually he's gonna know that there are times at the dog show when he can be in his bed on the table. Uh, you don't want, this might not be the best bed for him because it could very easily tip if he was sitting on the edge. Um, but for right now, he's just learning that the table is like a fun place to be, to relax. And um, this is like the very beginning stages of table training. Um, so a lot of times I will teach my dogs, you know, when there is no towel, blanket, yoga mat, they have to stand. When there is a bed or some other kind of mat that they can lay down or they can, they can kind of get up, sit up, lay down. Uh, but I usually also teach them that once their head pillow is there, that that means that they have to stay laying down. And like, this is the tougher concept to get, but we're just gonna work towards it. Um, we're just gonna get them to, to lay down and uh, kind of keep his head in the pillow and have a little bit better timing with his little snack. And maybe I'm just gonna like feed him and encourage him to like be on here with his little head on the table and on his little head cushion. We want him to kind of lay straight at this point because we're teaching him how to use his head cushion and we just want it to be comfortable. So then maybe we take the treat away 
and expect him to keep his head there. And then good boy, just give it back to him. And these are just small, small wins that, that we want from him. But obviously he's very comfortable on the table. But part of the reason he's comfortable is we have made it comfortable for him, right? So like, look at how good he's being already. And like, I do have a finger, two fingers on the back of, my, of his neck, but I'm not pushing him down. I'm not holding him down at all. Um, that's just so that I do get a win. Good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. Nope. <laughs> he wants to maybe chew on his head cushion. That would not be ideal. Good boy. So now we're gonna take that away and we're just gonna like let him lay here on the table and he's kind of still expecting more treats. And yeah, giving him a reward is a good idea, but he has to also learn to lay there and not always get a reward with it, right? So he's just learning how to be comfortable again. My other hand is on him, but there's no problem with encouraging them to be there. I don't wanna be slamming him down and holding him down at this point, but I also want to encourage a win. I don't want him to learn how to scratch his freshly shaved face. And then like he's getting quite comfortable on the table. And there we go, give him another cookie. He's getting very, very comfortable. And it's okay if you want your dog to be well adjusted on the table, you know, standing here for five or 10 minutes is just really gonna go a long way towards that comfort. And again, we could like introduce his bed. Up, 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 up. See if he wants to get in there. Good boy. And just like create like kind of a creature comfort. He has a very itchy face apparently. And just create that kind of creature comfort with him and make him understand that this is a good, fun, safe place to be. And again, you know, I just keep taking my arm away because I don't want you to think that I am holding him down in position. Um, but yeah, there he is getting very, very comfortable. And basically this is step one in, you know, table training our dog. And again, yes, I have this on for safety. I always would with a toy dog. Um, and also, you know, but it's not controlling him in any way. And actually now he's just, oh no, he's, I thought he was gonna chew it, but he's not. So there you go. Step one in table training your puppy of kind of any age. Hi guys. Thanks for joining us for our latest Leading Edge Dog Show Academy tutorial. Don't forget to go to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com to see some of our premium content and webinars where we go in depth on grooming, training, and so much more. Of course, we would love for you to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video here on YouTube. And if there's something that you would like to see that you haven't yet seen on our YouTube channel, of course, just drop it in the comments below and we'd be more than happy to bring you that content. So once again, I'm Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial.